Hello, my name is Ian and I'm a developer at Inobis. I'm for now we're going to show you how we work with large XML files. Here in front of you we see two XML files looking very similar. On the left we have an XML file with an order header and two orders. On the right we see an XML file with one order header and two million orders. As you can imagine, this takes up a little bit more in the way of resources. Normally, when you're doing a mapping, you will load in all of the data on the left and work with it in a mapping, and then save the data. This becomes impractical when you're working on very large XML data sets. So we would actually load in one order row at a time. Here we have an example mapping showing two price lists mapping from one to the other. If you look at the properties for the order row, we will see that we are working on 1000 elements. This will load in the all 1000 elements, or in this case only two, and work on them at the same time. If when you're working on 2 million elements, this becomes a little impractical. So we would instead switch to serial mode, which works on one at a time, and do the first element, second element, third element, all the way up to the end. We also need to do this on the target data side as well. Now. We are finished changing the mapping. We ask it to use a different data set just to show off a large mapping in action. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger. And we press execute. We wait a little bit longer. Most of the time is actually spent loading the data set into DS to show you. And here we have the mappings and the mapping data, which as you can see is a little bit larger than our previous data. Thank you for listening. My name is Ian Clark for Inibis. If you need any further information, please contact us or look at our website at www.inobis.se.